In this video, we're talking about how to answer behavioral interview questions. If you don't already, already know what a behavioral interview question is, it's basically just when the interviewer asks you a question that starts with, tell me about a time when, and they want to tell you a story about how you behaved in a certain situation. These are some common behavioral um, interview questions. Tell me about a time when you worked on a team, when you were a leader, when you failed or made a mistake. Those are very common. Um, when you disagreed with a coworker, when you had to deal with a difficult customer, when you faced adversity. Um, but you notice all of these questions start with, tell me about a time when, and there's literally hundreds of these questions. Interviewers can ask about you know any type of situation. But the idea is that you're gonna tell them kind of a story about that situation that they're asking about. And the number one piece of advice for answering these behavioral interview questions, I did not come up with this, it was made up by somebody else, but it's very widely used in answering behavioral interview questions, and it'll really help you to have a structured framework when you get into an interview and you're nervous and you might forget things, but it's really easy to remember star, situation, task, action, result. This is the format with which you should answer pretty much any behavioral interview question. So what we mean by situation is, let's just, let's just imagine here, maybe I should just answer, um, tell me about a time when you were a leader. Okay. So let's pretend that the interview question is tell me about a time when you were a leader. And so the first part of this is to come up with, um, or to explain the situation. I'm actually realizing now that I didn't prepare to answer this question before I recorded this video. So I'm having to think of like, oh, what is the time that I was um, a leader? So this will be like a real live, um, you know, as if I was in an interview. So as I think about it, I guess what's popping up into my mind is when I was promoted from account executive to sales manager. Um, so the first time I was in management in my career, um, I had been an account executive for 10 months. Um, and I did really well. Um, I was in the top 10% of sellers at the company. Um, and then I got promoted to be a sales manager of um, 14 account executives, which was the role that I had previously had. And so there I've descri described the situation. In terms of the task, you know, I guess in this situation, the task is we needed to hit quota. We had like, I think it was a $2 million team quota. Um, and so my job was to coach and train and support my team of account executives to hit that $2 million annual sales quota. So action A, so like, what did you actually do? Um, so my responsibilities and the actions I actually took were um, analyzing our Salesforce dashboards. So looking at things like call volume, amount of meetings scheduled, amount of pitches, amount of deals closed, um, and then I was like systematically analyzing the data and working with different reps based on different skills, depending on what the data was saying about, you know, how they were performing. And then in terms of result, you want to talk about, okay, you've done, you've laid out the situation, you've explained your task, you've explained what action you've taken. So what's the result? The interviewer wants to know, like, you know, how did it go? Um, and in, in my case, um, I, my team performed well for the, I would say, first like three, maybe four months. But then there was actually a period where my team was really underperforming. Um, and as I, as I think about it in hindsight, um, I think it was definitely partly my fault. Uh, I think as a manager, I was still trying to be, I was still trying to use the same skills that I used to be successful as an individual salesperson. And those weren't really translating to being a good manager. And so my team actually, I think we missed quota a couple months, um, probably because of you know my lack of skill in being a manager. I was a manager for the first time. Um, and so that's an example of talking about the result. Um, and in a situation like that, you wanna tell the story of like, okay, yeah, I failed, but this is how I like recovered and, and, and implemented a solution to the reason I was failing. But that's just an example of how to go through your answer to the behavioral interview question with the STAR method, with S, T, A, and R. So one pro tip um, that was given to me a few years ago that really helped me in my interviews is that if you are trying to prepare your answers to every single possible behavioral interview question, that gets really hard because there are a lot of 
behavioral interview questions. It's really hard to prepare and memorize answers to every single one. So what um, the advice that was given to me and the advice that I'll share now is that you memorize two to three stories that are really flexible, that can be used to answer multiple behavioral interview questions. So for example, that answer I just gave was an example of when I was a leader, but it also could be an example of when I failed because my team missed quota those few months. Um, and it, it could also be applied to probably some other situations if, um, if I really think about it. Um, and another um, example of a, a story that could apply to two situations is maybe you're on a team and you also disagreed with a coworker. So just try to memorize like two to three stories that are really flexible that can apply to multiple um, behavioral interview questions. And then you won't have to spend as much time trying to prepare for every possible behavioral interview question. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, this slide deck and all our videos are mainly for tech sales interviews. You might find this useful for other interviews, um, but our channel, our YouTube channel is all about tech sales. So if you're interested in getting a job in tech sales, definitely hit the subscribe button below. If you're not interested in tech sales, don't subscribe because that's kind of all we talk about. Um, it's not really an interview channel. It's more of a tech sales channel. Um, Another thing you can do if you have any follow-up questions is join our Discord server. There should be a link in the banner of our YouTube channel. You can also go to our website, breakintotechsales.com, and the link to the Discord server is in the bottom menu, or message me on LinkedIn, and I can um, help you find the Discord server or answer any questions as well. So thanks so much for um, watching this video. Hopefully this helps you prepare for your um, interview a bit, and good luck on the interview.